Enterprise Field Guides is an all-encompassing field guide course which gives any students huge um, experience. The idea is that they come with all-encompassing qualifications that they can hopefully uh, get into a job. The course that we offer is very, very comprehensive and also we consult with the lodgers themselves as to what they're looking for into their guides and based on that we include that on our courses. I love nature and I love working with people so that's actually where my interest grew. I just want to do something or find a particular career in nature. The students come to Bushwise, I think, not expecting the amount of knowledge they're going to get. So our modules include things anywhere from geology of the area, climate, mammals, mammal calls, animal behavior. We do advanced 4x4, we do presentation skills, we do rifle handling and shooting skills really nice that each week we got um, either one or a number of modules and then a test uh, weekly because then it did prepare us for the final for Gaza exam. You know you're continually learning, you're, you're not just here in the classroom learning stuff, you're out and about in the bush. And you're not just chasing after the big five, you're stuffing in the trees and the flowers and all the little bugs and everything so that was really awesome because I'm a visual learner and I have to see things to understand them. I've learned a lot more than I thought of would be able to learn. On the campus, we're trying to make it as comfortable as possible for the students, a home away from home. Because it's not necessarily the, the easiest thing to come out as an international, but to have somewhere where you know that you'll be safe and with a lot of people that are doing the same thing with the same passion, I think for me that's what appealed me to it. It's not you on your own struggling to understand something or remember something. Everyone is helping everyone. We family, we become a family and with the trainers, what I love about them, they're open, you're free to ask any question whenever you want. We're teaching them concepts and tips and tricks and knowledge that we've gained over years and years and years. I have more belief in myself, that's, that's the thing that motivated me the most. Being a guide or working at a research um, entity, a big element, if not the biggest element, is actually working with people. It's exciting because you get to tell people what they do don't know it all and seeing the faces like so surprised that like, wow and I think our main goal is to create teachers which will be able to go out and actually keep conservation going that's one of the reasons why we have bushwise we try to not only train them as guides with a piece of paper but for them to go out be ambassadors um, and be responsible and set an example a lot of jobs require you to have work experience um, and without that often you aren't able to get jobs so we offer the six month placement which enables people to work in the industry um, to really get that foot in the door. So they give you like a jump start into the industry? I can't wait now, I can't wait. I'm not looking forward to leaving this place but uh, that's when the real stuff begins. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. <laughs>Outreach and Alumni Manager at Bushwise and myself and the team are here today to share with you a little bit more about who we are and what we do. Uh, as you can see on your screen, we have a full lineup ahead. So after this, I'll be handing over to Pioneer, who is uh, one of our fabulous Bushwise trainers. This is actually his first open day uh, and he'll be talking about our infield courses. Uh, we'll have some time for questions shortly after that before I pass the um, virtual mic over to Annie, who's our Bushwise Communications Lead, uh, and she'll be covering her absolutely fascinating personal experience uh, training and working in conservation in South Africa as an international. She is originally from the US. Um, and then after that, we'll be hearing from Hannah, who's a Bushwise alumnus, about her Bushwise experience and what it's really like to be a Bushwise student, as well as what she has done since uh, graduating as a Bushwise student. And then lastly, Trevor, our head of Bushwise Online, will be talking to us um, about all of the online courses that we offer here at Bushwise. And then finally, I'll be back on your screen to wrap things up.
And then we're behind the scenes, we have Eugene, who is our uh, Bushwise director, who's going to be answering, hi Eugene, uh, who's going to be answering, um, helping to answer your questions as we go. Um, so if you do have questions, please put them in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen, uh, and we will do our very best to get back to them um, uh, typing in real time, but also answer them verbally after each talk. A um, little bit of housekeeping before we move forward. Uh, you will receive a link to this event um, via email uh, first thing on Monday morning uh, to recording. So if you do have to step out halfway through or you think someone who you wish could have been here today but wasn't, you're more than welcome to share that with them. Um, we will be answering your questions live throughout the event, as I have said, using the Q&A uh, box um, at the bottom of your screen. Um, and uh, after this event, you will receive an email um, detailing the special offer uh, that you are eligible for by attending today. So without further ado, I am going to stop sharing my screen and invite Pioneer to join me here and um, deliver our first presentation about our Bushwise infield courses, which I'm personally very excited to hear about. Hi, Pioneer. How are you doing? Hi, Amanda. Nice to meet you. And uh, I would like to say hi to everyone. And also proud, uh, so proud to join uh, Bushwa's uh, opening day. And also, well, welcome to everyone who have joined the Bushwa's opening day. Awesome. Thank you, Pioneer. I'm just going to hand over to you now. I'll let you take it away. Yes, I'm, gonna, I'm going to share the screen with you. And then I'm going to be discussing about our our courses at Bushwise, and then from there you can ask questions. Uh, then you're more than welcome there. Awesome, right. thanks, Wendy. <laughs> right. Uh, first for all, I will start to introduce all the team members of uh, Bushwise. And then from the team members, I'm gonna start more from the management. Uh, we have got Sophie, who is the founder of uh, Bushwise. And then we've got Eugene, who is, uh, who is also uh, here at this uh, opening day. He's the director of Bushwise. And we've got Rwandi, who is the admin as assistant. And then we've got Trevor also, I think we're gonna meet him. Uh, in this opening day. Uh, he's the head of online program. And then we've got Kim. Uh, I think all the students that will be joining Bushwise uh, is the first person to talk to, who is the one who is the enroll, enrollment manager. And then we've got Shireen, uh, is the operational manager. We have got uh, Tammy, who is online uh, student support. And then from the trainer's side, uh, we have got our head trainer, uh, Nico, who is a head trainer at uh, Southern Wildlife College. And then we have got Vaughn, also is a head trainer at Mashasha College, uh, sorry, Mashasha uh, Campus. Uh, and the other trainers that we've got, you've got Darren, uh, is at Mashasha, uh, at Mashasha Campus. And then we've got Wayne, also Mashasha Campus. And I've got myself, uh, now at uh, Southern Wildlife uh, College campus, and we've got uh, Sophie and Frederick also at uh, they are the trainers at uh, Southern Wildlife uh, College campus. And we have got also Claudia, who just joined uh, joined the Bushwise team uh, recently. Is the the camp uh, coordinator. Uh, based more at uh, Mashasha campus and also at the main office at Wood Street. And then we've got uh, Anne, who is a communication uh, uh, leader. And then we've got also Alex, that has recently joined us uh, more for the social media. So that's the Bushwise team. <laughs> and also, Interesting with Bushwise, uh, as I said, involved with uh, different team members there, uh, which make it uh, like uh, Bushwise being the most comprehensive accredited professional field guide training.
training provider in South Africa. Right, in field courses, uh, our courses uh, is divided into two. We have got two courses, main courses that we run with Bushwise. We have got the Bushwise Professional Field Guide course. And then we've got also Bushwise uh, 60 day safari course. And then I'm gonna go in depth uh, about these two courses. But we're gonna look at the, uh, the Bushwise Professional Field Guide course. So this Bushwise Field Guide course, uh, it's a comprehensive professional field guide course based on uh, current industri industry uh, standards uh, running on the, big, uh, on the big five game reserve with practical training. Also it includes the short courses uh, which are being covered. And then at the end, uh, the candidates they gonna end the apprentice field guide qualification which is a national qualification, which is being uh, recognized uh, in the country, uh, previously known as uh, level one. So I'm talking about uh, the FACASA qualification, yeah. Right, uh, and among the candidates that they are joining the Bushwise uh, courses, uh, who can join these courses? So anyone who is above 18 years can join the course. So anyone who's above 18 years, up to 60 years can join the course. Uh, and, but unfortunately with the law, uh, the students they need to have at least their, they have to be above 20, 21 years so that they can get their professional driving uh, permit, which is known as PDP so that they're allowed to drive uh, the game drive vehicles with the guests. Uh, the duration of the, of the courses of uh, the professional field guide, uh, we've got 23 weeks with a six month placement, which form up to 50 weeks in total. That's almost like one year when you're doing this course. And the structure, uh, of the course is divided into two. You have got the theor uh, theoretical part, and then you've got also the practical part. So it's not like gonna be in the class the whole time, but we also have to go out in the field and then get that practical experience. And then at the end of uh, uh, the course that both combined the practical part and the theoretical part, uh, you, this the student or the candidate you have to be placed into the placement, which is, these are the working environment, could be like the lodges, uh, could be also anti-poaching team and then other volunteering programs. Right. Uh, why you do this course, uh, the professional field guide course? why we do the bushwise professional field guide course. But best value over competitors based on, uh, on inclu inclusion. But um, this course, uh, you've got, you can gain different certificates at the, when completing this course. Uh, among those eight, five of them are national recognized, which you've got NPF qualification. And then also you get like a, a free 12 week uh, Fakasa field guide online. So if you, you, you enroll yourself, you enroll into professional field guide course, our Bushwise field guide course, you also get a 12 week uh, online uh, course for free. And then also Bushwise, uh, you've got the uh, highest Fakasa marks um, like uh, in six years role, uh, which we've seen that uh, from 2013, uh, Bushwise, if uh, the pass mark of about 88%, and then they've kept that consistently. So, which give also 
like an advantage to, to, to the student or to partner that they do the course with uh, Bushwise, that they'll be ready when they go for their to the workplace. So they're ready to, to work. And then high success rate of gaining employment at the finest logis and their research spaces. So as I mentioned before, with all the qualification that you get at the end of the completion of this course, uh, definitely be ready to, to go and start to work. And uh, the, the team or the office then they assist also with the placement also based on the student uh, interest. Right. And currently we are we have got um, a Bushwise professional food cut course running, which has started uh, January. We are on our uh, third semester now. And then the next course, which is coming also on the 8th of July. That's the next course that is coming for the, the one for professional field guide. Uh, and there is also a money, like a, a, there is a guarantee for a student after completing the course and then getting also the graduation with the, with the Bushwise that they will get a job. And then if, for example, you are a citizen, South African, and then you don't get a job, the bushwise, they they more than willing to give you like a 50% uh, back. So there is like a definitely that if you're South African and then complete the course and then com complete also your placement after graduation, it's a definitely that you're gonna get a, a job. But as I mentioned, also that is divided into two courses. You've got also the 60 day safari uh, guide course. This course is a is con uh, is condensed vision of a, of our flagship uh, professional field guide course, offering essential theoretical knowledge and practical experience to students who wish to start a career as a field guide or have a life-changing safari experience. And become a satisfied Fakasa apprentice field guide in 60 days. Because this is shorter course, cannot offer same number of qualification as the professional field guide course. But this course does include extra like trek and sign, first aid, and the uh, reptile handling. Right. As I said before, with the Bushwise Professional Field Guide, at the end of the course, you're getting up to eight certificates. And then with the 60 day course, uh, it's unlikely that we give all these certificates. So you get. Uh, definitely get the apprentice, apprentice field guide, which is the FACASA, which is the NKF2 uh, qualification. And then you get your first aid, and then you get also second sign, and you get your rectal handling. Right, just uh, now, who's doing these courses, especially the 60 day uh, safari guide course? Uh, if you have been like uh, seen that sometimes some of the contents they don't have like enough time to to leave their workplace and then join the course for six months and then also uh, another six months for placement. So this is like more shorter version uh, where it can really uh, suit the individuals that they don't have enough time. And also, for example, also with the with the budget, uh, and then also comes with the the visa, the international. You can do this course with only the visiting visa, which is like a three months visa. Then you can complete your sixty day 
course within that uh, uh, two months. And then this course also is same to be based into uh, these uh, uh, game reserve with the uh, big five. Uh, the duration of uh, the 60 day course is uh, 60 days. Uh, it's a compressed vision of our bourgeois professional field guide course, including, uh, including average game drives, and then also with the, the theory, uh, theory involved. Unfortunately, there is no placement. So as I said, uh, some of the candidates that will be doing these uh, 60 days, probably some will be coming from the work experience. Maybe they are working already. They've got the, the experience there. They want to end their FACASA uh, qualification or some they just doing the experience that they, when they do camping, they've got the experience. Uh, so there is no placement after the completion of the course. But uh, bushwise, uh, they more than willing to assist or with other places that they might take them also without the experience and then they gain the experience uh, for themselves then. And then we've got the starting date of uh, the 60 day course, which is starting on the 10th of April. And we've got also another course that we're gonna start on the 8th July. And then we've got also the other one that's gonna start on the 25th of uh, September. And of course, next year, having also uh, the course running for the 60 day course, I think they'll be, they put out the dates, the starting dates. So I think there's four uh, starting dates throughout the year. So there is four courses that will run for 60 day course for next year, starting from January. Uh, both courses, the professional field, uh, Bushwa's professional field guide course and the 60 day course. Uh, in terms of theory, uh, both candidates, they're using the same material uh, for the FACASA courses. So you've got uh, 18 modules are covered in the classroom section and uh, also the game drive that they are being carried out. So it's not only be focusing on the theory, but also we focus on the game drive so that we can understand uh, practically. And then the pass mark, it's uh, 75% to get your attendance field guide. So in terms of the theory, you've got the pass mark of 75%. And as I said, we've got 18 modules. We have got introduction to guiding, which is guiding in the natural environment and creating the guided experience. Then we have got geology, we've got weather and climate, we've got astronomy, we've got ecology, biomes, taxonomy, plants, anthropods, fish, amphibians, uh, reptiles, birds, mammals, uh, animal behavior, conservation and management, and we have got historical human habitation. Um, so it's quite interesting, as I said, it's not only about theory, but it's both that's going to make you being uh, qualified as a apprentice field guide. So as we're gonna as we're gonna discuss the next slides, uh, how is the structure work uh, within the campuses? Uh, so we start by starting with these lectures that you do uh, within the classrooms, and then when you go out in the field, you try to imply or we try to put 
everything that you've covered theoretical and then you put out in the field. So it's not only learning from the book, but you're learning also by seeing and demonstrating that make it easier or make it easier for the candidate to understand what they've learned from the class and then how to put it out there and then also uh, hence to, uh, to enhance the, like, uh, their knowledge sharing also with their guests and which uh, be another step for starting for their guiding careers. It's a really complete life changing. And I uh, seen like most of the uh, cardinals when they doing like this course, they'll be maybe expecting that to be only focusing on mammals, but uh, with field guiding, it's starting from the soil going up to the astronomy, which uh, is really broad. Uh, Practical, as you look at the picture on the screen there. The students, when out in the field, uh, yes, they are behind the wheel and then not by themselves. They've got someone that is holding their hand like a child starting to, uh, to, to walk. So the trainers, uh, for CASA qualified trainers, they will be with the student and then they'll be trying to assist uh, the student uh, practical out in the field. As I say, it's something that they've covered out in the class, how to put it out practical. So in other words, we'll be learning how to guide. So then you have got the other candidates that will be the guest. So you as a student will be guiding and then they've got the others as the, as the guests that give you like experience with time and end up developing the, uh, the guiding uh, style. And um, after passing also like the theory, at the end of the course, uh, the student, they get assessed by the FACASA assessors. And then, which means the combination of the practical and the theory that make you a full qualified uh, previous field guide, which they go out with their uh, NPFC qualifications. For GASA qualification, that, uh, this applies to professional field guiding course and the 60 day course. Uh, during this course, the student will complete the FACASA Acquaintance Field Guide Theory and Practical. And the FACASA Trails Guide Theory exam will be also be written towards the end of the course. Uh, so with the Trails Guide Theory, we, those that will be doing their uh, six month course, the Bushwa's Professional Field Guide course, uh, their Trails Guide is included. But for you to do also your trails guide, the first step is to complete your uh, FACASA apprentice field guide, theory and practical parts, and then go on with your trails guide. And the qualification also known, and now is known as a uh, apprentice uh, field guide and PF2, uh, previous known as the FACASA level one. And these are CASITA recognized certificate. Right, then we've got also the short courses that the student, they, they get at the end of the course uh, with the courses that they, they get included during the during their courses there. Uh, we've got the professional field guide course. Uh, they've got all these eight certificates, but the 60 day course, uh, they've got the World, uh, Wilderness uh, First Aid Certificate, Reptile uh, Handling and uh, Trekking Sign. 
uh, check and sign that also you do during they do during their courses. Uh, they do also the social media modules. We do also the photograph workshop and we have got the basic uh, reptile handling course with Wood Street uh, Reptile Center and then the four by four basic vehicle mechanics and tire changing. So you've got the four by four driving. So both the uh, uh, courses, we, we do that, the professional field guide, and then also the 60 day uh, uh, course, they do four by four training. Okay. And we've got also the astronomy training with uh, celestial events that also for these uh, six months. And you've got the Katsita, uh, the, sorry, the Saseta, firearms training with Letava tactical firearm training. Uh, this uh, is more the proficiency that uh, more from the government that before you handle the firearm, you need that uh, qualification. Also it's a national recognized certificate. And then they've got also the advanced rifle handling, which is FACASA endorsed uh, course. And you've got track and sign and trailing course with Colin Patrick. And then by doing those two courses, track and sign and trailing, it gives you a tracker qualification, which you can send those copies to FACASA. And then you get also a FACASA tracker qualification, depending with the level that you get from uh, the training. And then further, uh, practical trails experience after the course offered by the Lovell Trails. Uh, this is a separate course from Bushwise, but uh, you can book it through Bushwise. So this is another uh, experience that the student they get exposed to uh, where they do Lovell Trails and then they sleep out in the, in the field uh, with the tents. Uh, of, and then gaining also like the, their hours for their journey of their trials guide after they completed their trials guide and advanced rifle handling, going also through the mentorship. And then the advanced rifle handling, this applies to the professional field guide course, learning how to use uh, the, uh, how to use safely and handle the firearm. So the advanced rifle handling also uh, is a, a shooting qualification that can be obtained once the student have passed their Fagasa trails guide theory. After completing a print and field guide course, you have to uh, do a theory uh, for for trails guide and then that is divided also into two sections uh, where you learn more about the animals and animals behavior especially the big five uh, dangerous game and also how to use the rifle so that is divided into two, two sections dangerous game and then also how to use the the firearm and then once you pass those two sections both in 75% each, and then uh, you carry on with the advanced rifle handling. And then from there, the process goes on where you need to walk in a dangerous game area. That's where the low health trails also come in, where you go out with the experienced guards that have been out in the field for long, and then they you look up to your hours and then gaining, gaining also the, the experience there. Right, student life uh, at the campuses. So no two days are ever the same. So 
each day is the days they are completely different from each other. When you there as a student, every day uh, in the life of the student is different. But uh, they may start out uh, the same with uh, game drive or bushwalk in the morning or afternoon. But the students are trained uh, to be industry ready, which means having a clean vehicle, doing vehicle checks, preparing the hot boxes for drink stop, welcoming the guests, and uh, conducting also the pre-briefing and uh, leading the activities with the Fakasa qualified trainer uh, at their side to mentor and assist. So uh, the way uh, from time you start the course, I'll say from day one, it's, it's a learning experience. Uh, because the student, they get involved like in anything starting from also learning, cleaning up the dishes, preparing up like uh, the meals, hosting also uh, other students, and also working as a, a team where they, some, they, they have to elect like a manager that will be managing also the team. Uh, so all that give them uh, a good experience the time when they go uh, into the working environment, they're really ready for that. But every time there is a trainer uh, assisting and coaching and giving also mentorship there. The lecture are given uh, after the activities to prepare students for the test and examination, they will write throughout the course. Uh, during the daily activities, trainers uh, guide students through, uh, through field guiding, allowing them more and more freedom uh, to allow them to develop their own guiding uh, style. So it's not like towards the end of the course or the end of uh, writing the exam and the end of doing practicals where the student they just uh, thrown at the deep end, it's like, okay, now we can do the draft. So every time the, the trainers, they are there uh, to, to guide the student. At the end of the course, they are more comfortable uh, to, be, to be in front of other students and then present to control the vehicle, to able to interpret whatever they seen out in the field there. So when they finish up the course or when they are about to do their final assessment, they are really ready. So they don't have to worry about the confidence and fears. Uh, still on the student uh, life with the game drives. Uh, the game drives start between uh, 5.30 to 6.30, and then all that depends also with the time of the years and the, the seasons. And the game drives uh, last for about three to four hours. And then at uh, 11, you have got the branch. And then between 11 to three, uh, either student they might have their study time or their own time, or sometimes we'll be having uh, the lectures there. And then starting again, the game drive after three and then uh, six for dinner time. And then with the lectures, normally our lectures start between uh, 7.30 to 8.30, uh, more in the classroom. And then 11, brunch time. And, and then if there is no lecture, which means the student is gonna do their own studies, doing their workbook, and if there is an, another afternoon lecture, which means from uh, three, we'll be doing another lecture or heading out again in the field and then six uh, evening, dinner time and then bedtime. Uh, but besides that, you've got the, the classrooms and also the 
dining areas where the student uh, evenings they can do extra studies. Uh, campuses, you've got, as I mentioned before, you've got two campuses, you've got Mashasha campus, and then you've got the Southern Wildlife uh, College campus. Going to start with the Southern, uh, Southern African Wildlife College campus. It's located at the Greater Kruger National Park, close to Open Gate. So uh, it's the animal with the, from where the campus is, uh, is being fenced around, but from there, there's also big five in the, in the area. Animals roaming free uh, from Kruger, there's no fence in between. Matlasha Compass, located close to Kreta Makalali Game Reserve, also is a big five uh, game reserve. Uh, covering about 26,000 hectares. So we've got big five there and also the playing game. And uh, the campus also, you've got, if I'm not mistaken, up to maybe 500 to 1,000 hectare with the no big five fence so which allows also the students to walk around uh, looking for trees birds tracks and get also the leopard that they visit inside the campus and honey badgers definitely not time and uh, the accommodations also you've got these uh, roundabouts at Moshasha and then the student they they share the accommodation and you've got also the bathroom facilities uh, and you've got the wi-fi anyway and uh at the wildlife college also the accommodation there you've got in suit tents and the student they sharing the tents uh with two or three in a in a tent Weekend uh, activities applies uh, to the professional field guide course and the 60 day uh, safari guide course. Uh, Saturday mornings, Saturday mornings uh, are spent uh, recapping uh, the week's lectures and doing uh, questions and answers. Uh, let's say, for example, there's some maybe student that they didn't like uh, understand or they're struggling with some of the lectures that they've done through during the week, and get the trainer uh, that is or that will be on duty weekend and then can recap on that. And also, if the student have got questions uh, from their workbook, and then they can ask, and also the quiz uh, questions that uh, it's helpful revision uh, preparing the student for their final exam. And then the rest of the weekend is more with studying and leisure time around the pool. Uh, sometimes having also time to go and buy something from the shops and cleaning their, their rooms and their laundry. Here's a picture uh, here on the screen with uh, some activities around the campus. There you've got the dry area, as I said before, that the students, they get involved into roasting, preparing the meals sometimes, special weekend, the frying, making fire, and then also sitting around the fire at night time, storytelling, uh, and out in the field could be the on the break or drink stop, they've got nice view. And also during the game drive, it's always students are gonna have like funnies here and there. It's not a, a prison. So it's more about sharing experience. So at the end, it's like uh, being like a, 
family. Why choose bush white? Right, experience, knowledge, and mentorship. Right. Uh, as I mentioned before with the team members, uh, the team members from the bourgeois, uh, all they coming from different areas, different part of the country, different part of the world, and then all of them having experience and all of them, they are unique in terms of personality. And then that experience that they've got sharing with also with students, uh, it really broadens up or give extra knowledge to, to the students because it's not like a student is exposed to one trainer. So get exposed to different trainers. And then also with the help and mentorship that they get from the trainers. And also some external trainers that they get involved, that they come in uh, during like the courses that really makes it give an advantage to a student to get like extra knowledge. It's, it's really, really uh, unique experiences. Uh, if I may say that. Right. Is there any questions? Awesome. Thank you so much, Hania. That was uh, really, really wonderful to hear all about our Bushwise infield programs. Um, we have had a couple questions. Um, yes. There is uh, Eugene has answered one of them um, kind of in the Q&A chat box, um, but there was another one that I wanted to ask either you or perhaps Eugene. Um, yeah. We had a question with regard to placements um, and placement partners um, and placement opportunities in the Western Cape. Do we have any opportunities for uh, bushwise students to do their placements in the Western Cape? Absolutely, Amanda. And I think that was a question from uh, Graham. So Graham, thank you so much for that question. Um, so yes, Bushwise partners with lodges. Uh, we obviously do have some partners in the Western Cape, which include Aquila, uh, Botlis Corp. Uh, we've got a new property that we partnered with um, all the way in Sutherland. So there is an awesome opportunity for, um, as an example, for some of our under 21 placements. Um, we have also partnered with Edo, but our placement partner range is not just in South Africa, but in Southern Africa, as well as in Costa Rica. Um, so we've got quite a global reach when it comes to our placement partners. Um, so that gives our students nice, because I mean, ultimately what we're trying to do with our placements is partner the student, the right student with the right placement. And obviously on the ground, when our students get here and they complete our professional field guide course and they, you know, under the mentorship of, of our trainers like Pines, we really get to understand our students, get to learn their personalities, and then we kind of play what I like to call Dr. Hitch by placing the right student with the, with the right uh, placement venue in terms of likes, dislikes, uh, what their preferences is. We'll be soon hearing from Hannah, who was quite a, um, a keen um, horse rider. So we try to find her an amazing horse-based um, uh, placement. So Graham, I hope I've answered your question. We've got definitely placements in the Western Cape. But for the other participants on this call, we, our placements range from basically any province in South, South Africa, as well as Namibia. Um, we're expanding into Zambia, Kenya, uh, Tanzania, as well as globally. Awesome. Thanks, Eugene. We've actually had another question come in from Denal asking if there are any placements available in Botswana or Limpopo. Yes, Denal, thank you so much for your question. So Limpopo, uh, there we've got a lot of placements. Limpopo uh, slash Mpumalanga, obviously being located close to the Kruger National Park, is like what we call the mecca of the safari business in South Africa. So we definitely have ample uh, placement partners, too many to actually mention now, um, definitely in Limpopo. Uh, Botswana, I'll be honest with you, is a little bit more tricky to get into. Uh, from a placement perspective, uh, Botswana really have got the... Um, uh, guiding standard or their, their placement program, they're really in, 
prefer to take on locals from that country. It's not impossible for us to get into that country. We do, we've had a few ad hoc placement uh, partners in Botswana, uh, but a little bit more difficult to get into if I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. Cool, thanks Eugene. And then um, I'm just gonna ask one more question before we hand over to Annie, who is gonna be chatting to us next. Um, Anthea would like to know if um, participant students need their PDP, uh, professional drivers, um, permit before they come on the course? Great question. So Pines covered a little bit of it. Um, so like Pines mentioned in the, in the program, all our courses have a minimum age of 18 years. Um, and obviously you can only get your professional driving permit once you're 21. So we take students without PDPs. So when it comes to PDPs are more kind of geared towards uh, the placement part of the course. So we've got various types of placements. So we have, will have placements that are more geared towards our under 21 market for, the, the, for that age group who, who can't get their PDP. So they will do different, more conservation um, type of, of a placement, which doesn't involve driving paying guests. So we've kind of geared our product towards uh, catering for both um, age groups, kind of the under 21s, and the over 21. So to answer your question, you don't, it's not a requirement to have a PDP. It's obviously more beneficial, but if you're not 21, you're not 21, right? So I um, hope that answers the question. Great. Thank you so much, Eugene. And thank you so much, Pioneer, for um, joining us today for your first open day and for chatting to us about all of the Bushwise programs, the infield programs that we offer. Uh, we really appreciate it. It was lovely to have you here with us. Okay, it's a pleasure. Awesome. Cool. And I'm going to hand over now to Annie. So Annie is our Bushwise Communications Lead. Um, she is responsible for all of the, um, the, the wonderful online material um, that, you, that you will see um, on, on the internet about Bushwise. Um, so Annie has a really, really fascinating story. Um, her journey, her personal and professional journey, um, it just always amazed me. Um, so she is going to be chatting to us today about her journey, um, kind of moving to South Africa and, and working in conservation as um, a, a US citizen. So Annie, over to you. Thanks, Amanda. I'm giving this green screen a try. If I start flickering like my hand is now, it's because my computer's not as good at this as it should be. <laughs> but we'll give it a go anyway, and I, you're not going to be looking at me most of the time anyway, it's so it's very, fine. It's very fetch, Annie. I actually was convinced that you were in field with the wild dogs. I'm, I'm shocked to hear that you're not. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> um, okay, so just to go ahead and, and dive right in, um, my name is Annie, as Amanda said, and I am originally from Texas in the United States. A lot of you probably heard of Texas, um, but I've lived in South Africa now for eight years. And for those of you who are here already, there are a lot of reasons to stay. And those of you who have never been here before, there are a million reasons to come this side. So I'm going to be chatting a bit about my experience um, and how I got to where I am now, but also connecting to doing a Fagasa course and what that did for me. And Graham, and for the others who have questions around what Fagasa can do for you beyond guiding, it's, there's a lot of things that you can actually do that this can lead into, and I'll get to that. Uh, but let me go ahead and get started. Um, I just want to make sure that I can see, let me see. You guys can definitely see my screen, yeah? I think it should be good. Yeah, um, yeah we got it. Okay, thanks. So you're going to see lots of wild dogs coming up as you picked from my, my background. Um, and there's a reason for this. These are all my photos, um, bit of a passion project. Uh, I do research on wild dogs as, in addition to my job working full-time as a communications lead for Bushwise, I'm busy getting my master's in wild dogs. Um, and as you can hear, because, because I'm American and I've only been here for eight years and I don't have um, citizenship in South Africa, I've been trying to figure out my own way and, and find my place in conservation and in this world. And it's really just about finding different opportunities. Um, so I'm... 34, turning 35 this year. And for me, I think when I was 18 years old, finishing high school or going into college, any of those points in my life, I definitely thought I would have a sort of typical career progression where I would graduate and find the job that I enjoyed and then stick in it and make my way up um, through the sort of ladder, so to speak. Um, but the reality of the fact is that it didn't go that way. Um, and I think the best 
career stories tend to be the ones that are all twisty and turvy and you're just trying to figure out what it is that you actually want to do. Um, I did a bachelor's degree in political science and did a year of volunteering um, doing pseudo sort of conservation work in America, um, which actually was my favorite thing that I had done for my career, um, despite the fact that it was completely unrelated to my degree. And then I, I kind of thought, oh no, maybe that's not the direction that I should be going. Maybe I need to get back to what I'm studying and I need to try and find like a real job. You know, I need to work a normal nine to five. I need to sit at a desk all the time. I need to make money the way my parents did. So like I said, as I'm turning 35 this year, I've been legally allowed to work since I was probably like 15 or 16 years old in the States from anything from camp counselor all the way up. Um, and I've done a lot of different things. Uh, this is just a sort of snippet of the kinds of jobs that I've had. Um, and there's very there's a lot of variation going on in here. So if you're one of those people who's sitting here going, I'm thinking about doing a Fagasa course because I wanna give it a shot and it's something I'm interested in. I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna guide or if you're thinking I definitely wanna guide, everything else sounds, you know, doesn't work for me. Like I don't wanna work in an office then this is really just an incredible opportunity. Any kind of a Fagasso course, it's just the way to go if that's what you want to give a chance because it's realistically, it's 60 days to a year of your life and you could absolutely have just incredible life changing experience. So to get back to this, I did all kinds of things and you can see that there are conservation or wildlife experiences that pop out of there. So um like early on in my career, the rock climbing instructor, whitewater kayaking instructor thing. I did some coding on climate change. As I got older, um, I did. I volunteered at the zoo when I had free time. Um, I don't necessarily go to the zoo a whole lot now, but I lived in a city and that was the closest thing I could find to being around wildlife. So I was just doing everything I could do to try and get to that point. Um, and then eventually I made my way to Bushwise, but we'll get to that. So in 2019, um, I realized that I just couldn't deal with sitting at a desk anymore. And I just started Googling, I was living in Johannesburg at the time, I just started Googling basically what, you know, the course like Bush was, um, and came up upon a, a course that was 55 days long, which is very similar to our 60 day course. And at the time I was thinking that was all I could kind of afford to do was two months. Um, I wanted to do more, but I didn't know if it was going to be my career and I just wanted to tiptoe into it to give it a try. And the course that I did also offered the full Fagasa qualification and additional qualifications like Bushwise does. And that just sounded great to me because then I, I could at least have something to add to my CV. And if I did want to guide one day and as an international, one of the options that I had thought about was freelancing, um, private guiding, setting up my own tour company. There's quite a few different things that you can do. Um, and so I just thought, you know, why the heck not? Like, let me just do it. And so I dove in, this was in 2019, January to March. Um, for me, it was about more than just career stuff. It was really about expanding my mind, connecting to wildlife, living in nature, disconnecting from the, you know, loud noise of the rest of the world um, and spending time doing something really unique. And it did so much more than that for me. I mean, it, it absolutely opened my eyes to what our wild world was really all about. Um, from the tiniest little Mapani bee, something we just posted about on Instagram, these tiny insects that just seem to almost hold no significance. And then you learn how everything is connected and how much bigger everything actually is, you know, all the way up to the biggest animals and their roles in the ecosystem. Um, and it made me look at, it made it, it made it impossible to go on a walk with me because everywhere I went, even when I was back home, I would find dirt tracks or I would find marks on trees or I'd find leaves moved around and I would just let my imagination run with what had been going on. Um, I remember going to visit family in Colorado not long after doing my Fagasa course. And for the first time ever, I noticed a bear track in the ground. And I was just like, this is the coolest thing ever. Like, I've never, why would I ever pay attention to the ground and, until I had done a Fagasa course and learned about track and sign and following lions through the bush and all of these things that just seemed so exotic and crazy to me. And then it was something that had become second nature after that. So, so I did the Fikasa course and not only did that give me an incredible experience, but it actually opened up some really great career doors for me. 
Um, like I said, I'd been working in Joburg and I'd been doing, I'd been doing work more closely related with my master's degree, which is in public policy. Um, and I was freelancing and I was, I was editing and I was writing. After I did the Fagasa course, having a um, qualification, even though it wasn't an academic, necessarily an academic qualification, it actually ended up getting me my first interview with the Endangered Wildlife Trust, because seeing that I had the keen interest in wildlife to understand more about the ecosystems and the way the world, the natural world works, um, was a huge drawing card for that organization when I applied for a role, which was actually in wildlife illegal wildlife trade. Um, for a while, I managed the illegal wildlife trade program at the Endangered Wildlife Trust. Um, so that was just an incredible sort of stumbled upon like opportunity that came out of this for me. Um, not the path I was planning on taking, but the path I needed to take at the time. Oh, and I just, as a last add-on, <laughs> I just kept saying yes to things. You know, I was just I got to the point where I wasn't going to get get back in an office, a normal situation anymore. So like, what could I do? Yes to the opportunities. And my question is, are you doing that? Because that's really what, if you're here, I think you should do it, right? Um, so <laughs> it happens, as it were. So I ended up having to go back to the States because of COVID-19. Um, and I took the chance to become a kayak guide. Um, so this is like, like having gone from working at a desk to deciding to do Fagasa and then getting a job managing a wildlife program um, at the Endangered Wildlife Trust to suddenly having to like sweep my whole life back to the United States. Uh, I ended up doing a seasonal kayak guide job and it was wonderful. It was like a refreshing reminder of how much I loved the guiding part of Fagasa, um, of doing a field guide course. And I went back to the States and was a main state kayak guide, um, which involves multiple qualifications. But if anyone on this call is international, um, or if anyone on this call has ever thought about doing any other kind of tourism, nature guiding, um, like park ranger, I mean, there's a whole lot of different roles that you can fall into that this sort of could be a gateway into. Um, and, and I will say this is a largely a tip-based tip job, and being the exotic person who had done a Fagasa course in South Africa definitely helped people want to open their pockets up a bit more to me. So if you ever want to do that, that's a great way to go. Um, but I couldn't stay away, of course. Most people who come to South Africa to do a course like this continue to come back year after year. Um, it's just impossible to, to stay away from this beautiful country and all it has to offer. And I've always really enjoyed wildlife photography. Um, and playing around with colors, as you can probably tell. But um, that's another incredible thing that Bushwise offers is we have some guidance around wildlife photography and also just incredible opportunities for wildlife photography. If you're on social media, give, give us a follow, but then also you can check out the photos that we share from our current students. And some of them are unbelievable wildlife photographers. And we just get with the correct guide and the correct trainer, which ours are, you get in the right angle to see things and you can just get incredible photos of wildlife. Um, and, and this is where I got to the point that I decided to do a master's degree on wild dogs because I wanted to keep that sort of hook into the wildlife experience. Um, even though I was no longer working with the Endangered Wildlife Trust, I started doing my master's and then volunteering on the wild dog project and doing research on wild dogs. So I'm still doing that. It's a long-term process, um, but it keeps me involved in, in wild dog research, which is fantastic. And for those of you who don't know, wild dogs are one of the most endangered carnivores, certainly that we have here in South Africa. Um, and we've got probably about 600 wild dogs left that we know about in South Africa. Um, and on both campuses, there's opportunities to see them. Um, there is actually a a pack that moves in and out of the Southern Wildlife, um, Southern African Wildlife College campus pretty regularly. Okay, so what does this have to do with you? My story is just one story and there's hundreds and thousands of similar stories in the area. The idea is that I just wanna say like, there's no such thing as a normal growth, like how you go from the beginning of your career to where you wanna end up and eventually, if you, if you find an opportunity and you have the time, you can afford to do it because you have the time, um, you have the resources, and it sounds like, you know, it could be the best idea for you at this time, like do it. Do the thing that you've always wanted to do and just dive in and give it a try. Um, I definitely, when I was younger, had the idea that my career needed to be one of those first three graphs, that it's the fourth, it's the twisty, turvy, crazy one. 
And like, I wouldn't change any of that. All of those opportunities are what made me who I am today and got me to the point that I'm at now, which is King with Bushwas. Um, but, you know, and again, get back to you. If you're here, it's because you're thinking about making a big change in your life. You're thinking about doing a Bushwise course. You're thinking about leaving all the comforts of home behind and going to a very new location and jumping in with people that you haven't met before who are gonna become your best friends in weeks. Um, you're gonna start making memories that you could never replicate anywhere else. You're gonna see things you could never imagine seeing. You're gonna grow as a person. Um, you're going to gain so much knowledge and also gain a qualification at the end of it all. Um, so it's good for you, it's good for your career, it's good for your family, it's good for your friends, it's good for everything. It's just a good thing to do, it's good for nature, it's good for the world. Um, and you'll just be a happier version of yourself at the end of all of it, which is great no matter what career you end up doing. And if you go to our website, we do have a, a couple of lists of career opportunities that can come out of this course. Field guide is definitely the number one, but there are also many other things that people go on to do. We've got people who do research. We've got people who go abroad and end up working in completely different fields. We've got people who go on to study science and become biologists and ecologists. Um, we've got people who manage programs in wildlife and conservation. It's just on and on. Um, okay, I might have gone kind of quickly, so I apologize if I spoke too fast, Amanda, but I think you get the gist. Anyway, I'm here and ready for questions now. Awesome. Thank you so much, Annie. I always love listening to you, um, to you speak about your journey because I think it's been such a um, such a fascinating one. And I think probably more relatable than what a lot of us think to many people. Um, so thank you so much for sharing. Um, we haven't had any questions specific to you and your experience come in, but we have just had a question which I'm going to um, read out and either yourself or Eugene can can jump in if any if you are wanting to answer then go for it. Um, Danelle would like to know, uh, they say the photography course, will I have to do it in my own time while other students continue with the big courses? Um I see Eugene says he wants to answer. So I don't know, Eugene, do you want to jump in or do you want me to just? Um, and yeah, I'm happy for you to take that one. Okay. So so the wildlife photography portion is really just something that's, uh, the students work through a module together on wildlife photography, but it's something that's done like with a lecture and with guidance from one of the trainers, or we also have someone who is a is our social media um, manager who does wildlife photography and he'll probably run through that program with the students each course but it's definitely something where if you want to get more experience doing wildlife photography then you can work with the trainers and with the social media guy on that kind of thing there's no like requirement to work it's not like a your typical like I've done a couple of photography courses online and those can be really long and really intense it's not like that it's different. It's more like practical experience in the field. And then you can ask questions and things can be given to you for resources. Amazing. Thanks so much, Annie. Well, I think that's it. We haven't had any other questions come in. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up there. But thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. It was wonderful to have you. Um, you and your, your pack of wild dogs behind you. Um, your, your pack leader, I love that. Um, so <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, we'll chat again soon. Yeah, hey, thank you. Oh, cheers. Um, I'm now going to hand over to Hannah. So Hannah is um, one of our Bushwise uh, alumni. Um, and she, uh, as um, Pines and Eugene mentioned earlier, she uh, is here with us today and she's going to be speaking to us about what her Bushwise experience was like and a little bit more about what she's getting up to these days. So Hannah, are you here with us? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to quickly share my screen. Awesome. Come on, laptop. Dothai, what are you doing? Oh, hang on. I'm getting there. Apologies. That's okay. <laughs> can I turn your can I turn your um video on? Oh yeah, yeah, you can do that while I sort okay. this out quickly. Okay. I think I did that. Oh hang on. Oh yeah, start video, Dolphin. Okay.
Hello. <laughs> there we go. We got you. Yeah. yeah. Let me just quickly sort this out. I need to find the. Um, thing quickly. Uh, and go. Oh, there we go. I'll say. Are you winning? Yeah, I know this other thing has come on now, so I don't know what this is. Oh, that's 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 me. I was just going to steal a moment to talk about the special offer that people are going to receive as a result of attending today. But oh, if you're in okay. Flow, no, hang on. I'm still trying to find my okay. thing. Okay. Now I need to make this small again. I will just. Um, Still a moment then, quickly, yeah. um, to let everyone know that as a result of attending today and signing up for this open day, um, you are entitled to a reduced deposit of only 8,500 Rand, or if you are not in South Africa, um, whatever your local currency equivalent is. Um, uh, as long as that is paid by midnight, the last day of this month, so that's the 31st of March to secure your booking. And um, there I've included the other currency equivalents if you if math is not your strong suit like like me. Um, and there are also limited additional scholarships um, available for 2023 start dates. So um, if you are interested in that, I would encourage you to reach out to Kim. Kim unfortunately couldn't be here with us today. Um, she's usually part of the furniture at our open days, but she is the um, bubbly friendly face that you will um, see or the voice that you will chat to. Um, if you do get in touch with us, um, as was said earlier, um, all the students know Kim. Um, so yeah, please do get in touch with Kim to ask your questions and to find out any more. Her email address is at the bottom of the screen over here. It's just kim at bushwise.co.za. Um, but all this information will be emailed to you shortly after this event uh, and set in your inbox. Uh, and then we will also email you a link to the recording of this event on Monday morning, first thing. Um, so yeah, be sure to look out, look out for those and check your inbox. Um, right, Hannah, are you good okay. to go? Yeah, yep, hang on. Let me just I'm gonna go. stop sharing my screen then. There we go. Come on, I wanna do that, thank you. Slideshow. I see it loading. There we go. Is it working? Got it. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah, as you heard, I'm Hannah. Um, so I actually never thought about being a field guide um, ever in my life. I wanted to do veterinary science, but I've always had a love for animals and I've always wanted to work with animals. Um, so I did a whole lot of other stuff before doing Bosch Wise, which actually I think has helped my career. And as Eugene and a I think a few people have said, I am also a big horse rider. I've been riding since I was four years old. I started from now, it's been 21 years that I've been horse riding. Um, so yeah, and if you are a horse rider or if you're looking to work with horses as well, there's a big opportunity to do that, especially with the combination of being a field guide and a horse rider. Um, so yeah, so I ended up joining Botwise. I did veterinary physiotherapy. And in my fourth year of veterinary physiotherapy, I decided that that wasn't for me, but photography has always been a big part of my life. So I did a photography course. And then at the end of my photography course, I decided I wanted to work more with like conservational photography and that kind of thing. And I spoke to my lecturer and he said that I would not be taken seriously unless I got a Fagasa. So it was literally the end of the year, it was November. And I decided, okay, let's go see what courses there are out there. And I came across Bushwise and I ended up comparing Bushwise to a whole lot of other training providers. And I found that out of all those other training providers, Bushwise seemed to, you seemed to get a bit more out of it. So they offered a lot more qualifications you could get, um, as well as it seemed a lot more professional. I would get a lot more out of it if I'd done it. Um, so yeah, so then I ended up joining Bushwise like last minute. And I was very glad I could get in last minute. Um, yeah, and then my Bushwise experience started off a bit rocky because it was obviously during COVID still, so I had to get a COVID test, and it was the wrong COVID test, and then I ended up joining it late um, by about a day or so, um, but yeah, it was such an awesome experience. I mean, the people you meet there and the trainers are very awesome. They're always willing to help. I still message trainers now, actually, asking them, what bird is this? 
and um, they all still will get back to me about uh, all the questions I still have. Um, yeah, and then I still have all of the friends, like those there was my group, and as you can see in that photo, and I still keep in touch with all of them. Um, so yeah, you make friends for life, actually. And what's great is that we get to compare our experiences now versus what our training was like. Um, but yeah, I feel like Bushwise prepared me or has prepared me quite a bit for what it's like to actually guide and to actually be out in the field versus the um, your training and all of that. Um, yeah, it was a very, very awesome experience. And um, yeah, they do prepare you definitely for uh, what you do. So as you can see, like this is, so a lot of these photos that I'm using are mine now that I've managed to take in the past six months or so. Um, so, so I joined in the January course and then I did a six month placement. I'm gonna talk a bit more about my placement just now. Um, but yeah, so the impact on my life, I've had so many job offers and so many more um, opportunities to do uh, with the bush and with horses and um, also the people. Sorry, if you can hear snoring in the background, that's my dog. Um, so I've had so many more opportunities to work with people and work with wildlife. Um, and it's actually impacted my life amazingly. So I'm a lot happier now that I'm out in the bush and um, I've grown as a person as well. Definitely um, a lot, my people skills have grown quite a bit actually as well. If I had told my parents about two years ago that I was gonna be a film guy, they would say not a chance, but um, yeah, Bushwise definitely prepares you to work with people as well as wildlife. Um, so yeah, what I enjoyed, the learning, definitely. I love to learn, I love to study. I'm still studying, I'm still learning. You can never learn everything in six months. Um, they do try and get you to get into that mindset that you're gonna have to work hard, you're gonna have to keep studying. And what's amazing about the bush is that you never stop learning. I'm still learning now to this day, as I'm pretty sure most of the trainers are still learning about the bush. Um, and then the people, like the people were awesome. We all got on very, very well. You end up making friends for life, as I said. Um, the trainers are very awesome. You can still message them after you finish the course and be like, oh, what is this? Can you help me with this? Um, Bushwise is still helping me now to this day, actually, which is quite great. Um, so yeah, that's, and then was it worth it? It was definitely, I've noticed the, my guiding ability is, not you can't compare it to anyone else so I've worked with people who have self-studied for Gaza and I've worked with people who've gone through other training providers and I must say that I feel like Bushwise prepared me a lot more for the guiding sense in the sense of my professionalism um, how I speak to people uh, how you talk about especially like difficult concepts for example like hunting or poaching and things like that um, so yeah, so I've found that my guiding ability is a lot better than people who have self-studied for Gaza or people who have gone through other training providers. Um, so yeah, I think it's it's not comparable to anything. So you will get a lot out of Bushwise. And in developing, I found that especially because they pushed you to learn, they push you to do more. Um, so I'm constantly developing, I'm constantly growing. Um, yeah, so I've just, I want to be a better guide every single day and every single time that I'm out of the bush, I want to improve my ability to guide and I want to improve my knowledge, especially when guests ask me about things that I see out in the bush or things that we do see. I find that I wouldn't have that hunger and that want to grow more as a guide um, if it wasn't for Bushwife. And then my placement, so as Eugene said, I was very into horses. I still am very into horses. So uh, my placement was in the Waterberg. Um, I worked with a place called Ant Africa Safari and they were absolutely amazing. Um, so I started off as a backup guide. Obviously they need to get to know you as a person before they let you be a lead guide and you have to obviously know the property. So I worked there for about two, three months and then told them, listen, I feel like I have the potential to be a lead guide. I feel like I have the potential to do bushwalks to then also do uh, drives by myself. So then they started putting me more and more out there with guests without having like a, one of the other guides come with me. Um, 
And I must say that it was an amazing experience. So I ended up being a lead guide um, from a backup guide to a lead guide, especially with the horse trails, because Ant Africa Safari is all about the horse riding. They do do walks and then drives, but it's mainly about the horses. Um, so yeah, so that was an amazing experience. I was offered a job there at the end, um, but I didn't want to take that job because it's quite far away from the Vasa office. And I would like to further my studies. So I wanted a place closer to a Fagasa office. And then also because as I said, Boschwise is still helping me through everything kind of. So I wanted to be closer to Boschwise so I could still um, like do my level two through them and do my uh, eventually professional field guide uh, qualifications through them. Um, yeah, so then Korea. So now I'm working at a place called African Dream Horse Safaris in Hoytsbrake. I work with, I don't work with guests anymore. So Ant Africa Safari was a lodge and I worked a lot with guests. So I did all the hosting and you know all the typical things you would do for with guests. I now work with volunteers and students. So we have equine students, nature students and volunteers. So that photo was taken with me with volunteers. Um, and yeah, I must say there is a quite a big difference. So in the sense with professionalism and then in the sense that I'm with the volunteers and the students all day every day um so yeah so with our equine students and our volunteers they stay at a very nice house and then the nature students stay in a tented camp so i'm currently in a tented camp with the nature students um and then my career so i do game drives guiding with the students and the volunteers um, as you can see i had to take that opportunity to take a selfie with the elephant swimming so we do our drives on pridelands um, i'm not sure if any of you've heard of it but if you've heard of wild earth that's where they do their filming. So we are lucky enough that we get to drive now with these film crews. Um, so we get to see all of these awesome sightings and we have such amazing sightings. Um, I'm not working as much with the horses now, but I am enjoying the game drives and still the guiding. So I get to teach students and yeah. volunteers about the bush, um, which is really, really awesome. And also unlike with guests, these volunteers and students are here with us for up to 11 weeks. So you really get to then know them as a person. Um, yeah, so that's really, really awesome. And I'm really enjoying that. And then job offers. As I said, I got a job offer from Ant Africa Safari. I'm now working at African Dream Horse Safaris. I got a job offer from Horizon Horseback Adventures. And they're also in the Waterberg. They actually tried to approach me from this job. But it's also they've seen like Bushwise I think I wouldn't be getting all of these job offers if I didn't go through Bushwise. So also I got a job offer in Kenya, um, but I think it's because of the quality and the level of guiding that you learn to do at Bushwise that I'm getting all of these job opportunities. And I'm like such a fresh new guide that I'm amazed that I'm actually getting all of these opportunities to go and work. Um, and then my future plans. So I would like to study further. I've done my level two exam. I just need to do my level two practical. I need to get my hours for trails. I need to redo my RH. Um, and then I would like to, I wanna get every qualification that Fagasa can offer. So I've also got my advanced astronomy that I've started. Um, and then eventually we'll be birding and yeah, well then I'll have to see what happens after that once I've gotten all of those qualifications. But um, I would like to be able to work and then do that studying on the side, which is you can definitely do that. I mean, I've managed to do it. Um, so yeah, so then that's just trying to be a better guide. And I don't think I would have been able to have that hunger, like I said before, and that want to be a better guide and to learn more and to get through all of those levels if I hadn't gone through Bushwise. Okay, and then travel, so help with research. Um, so my future plans also would maybe to be to travel to other places and help with research. I have a friend who's a expert in reptiles. He's a herpetologist. He wants me to also go travel with him. Um, so he's currently now in Saudi Arabia. He did ask me to go with him to do um, some research on reptiles and things there. But obviously I was working, so I couldn't go. Uh, but he's looking at maybe going to Madagascar in December. So I might end up going with him to Madagascar. Um, to go and do research on amphibians and reptiles. And that's also definitely something you can then look in to go into. Um, but yeah, so I also met him through, I know Vaughn, Vaughn is one of the trainers also at Bushwise, Vaughn knows him. 
Um, so yeah, I definitely think if you make good impressions at Bushwise and if you go through Bushwise, then you end up having all of these connections to all of these other jobs and opportunities that you can go through. Um, so yeah, if there are any questions. Thank you so much, Hannah. Uh, it was amazing to um, to hear more about your experience. I feel like you are such a powerhouse and you are going um, going places at such a rapid rate. Um, I'm just personally so excited to, to kind of watch your journey um, unfold and your career develop. Um, fun fact, I'm actually, I'm heading off to Madagascar in about six weeks, five weeks time. Um, so I will keep you updated and let you know how it goes. Yeah, I'm so jealous. That's on I've my bucket list. I've <laughs> been getting pictures of, I also work for um, for GVI, it's a sister company to Bushwise, um, and we have a, a, a base in Madagascar. And the photos that we get on that family chat group, the, the company chat group is just wild. The wildlife there is just incredible. Uh, so I have yeah. no doubt that you will absolutely, absolutely love it. Um, right, it doesn't look like we've had any um, any questions for you specifically. So I think you might be off the hook. Um, apparently you covered everything. You answered everyone's questions and more. So thank you so much for joining us today and for giving up um, your time on a Saturday uh, and for making it work. Um, we really, really appreciate it. It's been wonderful having you uh, and hopefully we'll have you at another open day again soon. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks, Hannah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cool. And last but not least, I am going to hand over to Trevor, who looks a little bit like a ghost at the moment. Um, Trevor is our head of online. Um, Trevor is also part of the Wishwise Furniture, um, but I will let him tell you more about that. Uh, and Trevor is going to be speaking to us about our online course options. So if you are unable to get um to a campus or just want to do something kind of short term for now to see if this is a route that you want to take uh, a bushwise online course would probably be the best for you so trevor welcome great stuff thank you thanks for the invite and it's a pleasure to be here welcome to all the listeners and the viewers etc as well deepest apologies for uh, my screen um unfortunately when you live out in uh how can i say outside of the city confines um Technology doesn't always work to your advantage, but at least you can get a vague uh, sort of impression of what I look like. But if you want a better picture of me, sign on to do the online course. Then you also get a recording to see just how we operate. All right, so jokes aside, so give me a second or two so that I can share my screen. Just remember, I'm um, in my twilight years, so I'm a little bit slow with technology. Just bear with me. That's okay, Trevor. You, you're, you're quick with your wits, so we'll forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. I think, uh, yep, you should be you should be able to see my screen now. I just want to go to the slideshow. We got it. All good. There we go. Lovely stuff. Thanks. All right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, audience, um, I'm here to explain a little bit more about the online courses that we offer. Um, if I freeze every now and then, um, I apologize, but uh, as long as you can hear my voice. Um, <clears throat> first of all, let's have a look at what the course options are. So apart, apart from the six, uh, six month course or the, the 50 week course and the 60 day course, either one of those courses um, would help you and would benefit you um, if you were to do the online, uh, the online courses that we offer beforehand so that you've already established a nice platform from a theory or a knowledge base, all right? So first and foremost, we offer what we call a nature enthusiast online course based on the Fugasi curriculum and those 18 models, uh, sorry, modules that Pine mentioned earlier um, over a duration of eight weeks. Or you can do separate to that, you could simply just do the introduction to field guiding over a four week period all right, or you combine the two to do the entire field uh, for guys of field guiding qualification. So it's the eight weeks and the four weeks combined to give you the 12 weeks in total. Okay. I'm meeting the team again, but since Kim wasn't here, <laughs> there's Kim, you'll get to meet her. But I want to introduce Tammy, who's my support um, from a technical point of view and obviously answering questions in my absence. 
And then, now you've met me, I look a little bit round and rotund there, so um, I'm going to try and change that picture a little bit. But um, you'll get a fair feeling of what I, what I look like. All gray hairs I have are simply wisdom that I have uh, gathered over the years working with students. All right, but I've just added a little bit of a blog here. Um, the course is very interesting and enhanced my basic knowledge of Southern African nature a lot. The teachers explain the material well, and the handbook is a clear overview of all learning material. Some improvements to the learning methods used are necessary to make it an even better, more visual course, but that is work in progress constantly all the time. So we're trying always to strive to fit in and um, how can I say suit your method of study and remember, et cetera. This is a, a, past, uh, a past student's comments, just by the way. All right, so let me explain a little bit more about the Nature Enthusiast course. Um, it's designed for those who are interested in nature uh, or who loves nature and would like to get to know a bit more, all right? Um, it's basically aimed at self-enrichment to improve your knowledge, your, well, your knowledge in general, um, and not necessarily for those that want to become a field guide sometime in the future. Um, but the subjects cover many aspects that could benefit any wildlife career, as we've seen with uh, Hannah and her progress and various other alumni students who all started by taking that first step. And that was to actually um, get the Fugasa Field Guide course underway. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to just quickly brief go, briefly go over all the topics again, um, but the topics include anything from weather and geology and mammals, astronomy, ethology, everybody's favorite, of course, animal behavior, um, conservation management, to name but a few things. Um, but the foundational theory is supported by real world case studies, um, lectures with field experts, uh, not only myself and the rest of the training team, but also people that are um, higher up in terms of uh, elephant contraception for argument's sake and responsible resource management. Um, they're invited as guest speakers to actually um, help build that general knowledge and create awareness. Um, it is all self-paced, all right? But my recommendation is try and um, stay on top of things and don't leave it till the last minute because you're going to end up playing catch up and starting to make mistakes. Um, but generally speaking, you'll be provided with a nature guide learner manual and you'll have the uh, field, guide, uh, field guide study book. Sorry, guys, I can't even read today. <laughs> Most of your lessons, if not all, are video presentations from our field guide trading team. Um, but there are self-assessments and practice quizzes to establish the, uh, the basis of your knowledge and how much you've actually retained after going through all the reading material and the lectures. So we recommend at least 10 hours of required learning per week um, because by uh, virtue of the GAS uh, guidelines, they expect that you need to complete at least a total of 60 hours um, online to actually qualify to proceed on the rest of the online courses. Um, it's delivered by uh, uh, our cousin, uh, our current uh, trainers. Um, and there's obviously a, a live weekly webinar to answer any questions. And that's usually what I host and also do recap what has been uh, covered in the various uh, modules uh, week by week. There is a compulsory assignment at the end um, in order for you to um, progress towards the Apprentice Field Guide NQS2 uh, qualification. Um, and that's when you have the option to add the four week introductory field guiding uh, course that I mentioned earlier, the former, uh, the four weeks, the additional four weeks. <coughs> Excuse me. Your requirements to apply, um, because the course is presented in English, we need you to be, um, well, you don't need to be uh, a Shakespeare um, in terms of your spoken uh, English or understanding of English, but you need to be written uh, fluent in both written and spoken English. At least 16 years or older for the online. And you must have access to a laptop or a device and have a decent connection to the internet. Okay, I can tell you that uh, our webinars and our master classes with guest speakers, etc., we start usually at 6, uh, 6 p.m. in the evenings and finish usually around about seven. We try and put aside an hour 
Um, and this is simply to try and accommodate for people who have got work commitments or life commitments, um, or generally are still scholars and also have other study, uh, studying and homework to do. Okay, what's included in the price is your Fagasa registration fees, all your learning material, plus the learner workbook. Now, the learner workbook sounds like, uh, might sound like a bit of French to you folks, but it's actually um, in written format where you've actually got to answer questions other than the assignments um, for your final, for your final um, pass mark, percentage pass mark, if you want to call it that, um, to achieve the NQF2 qualification. Okay, the introduction to field guiding, which is the four week portion that I just may, uh, mentioned, uh, will be needed to be completed if you expect to get the, um, uh, the, 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 uh, the full Fugasa NQF2 apprentice field guide qualification. All right, I know it sounds like a, a lot of acronyms, but NQF actually stands for National Qualifications uh, Authority or uh, Foundation. Um, and it's basically aligned with uh, earning credits towards the next level of uh, certification that you may want to get. It includes all the guiding based modules. It's focused on preparing you for your role as a field guide. So this is where we get to the nuts and bolts of things. And we actually talk about how to present um, uh, to a group of tourists or to a group of strangers that have all jumped onto the back of your safari vehicle um, and are there to key, are keen to learn more and see what you can interpret. Um, as Hannah said as well, uh, we play a lot of focus on developing people skills. All right, theory, anybody can actually imprint on their mind, but it's actually developing uh, people skills and, and just skills in general that is of uh, utmost important, uh, importance if you wish to succeed um, in, in the field guiding arena. Um, and I'm proud to say that we've had a pretty good record in terms of helping those shy introverted folks who don't like dealing with people to actually switch them around and actually get them keen to work with people. All right. Okay. Um, I think I've basically covered everything in the slide uh, because I've got ahead of, uh, um, uh, of, of what I wanted to actually uh, show you folks. But of course, you're going to get the recording, so it'll be quite helpful for you to read through it again. So without it trying to seem like I'm trying to brush over things, I'm trying to just get the emphasis across is that if you do the online, okay, it's obviously beneficial um, for when you arrive on the ground for the practical parts. Um, and this is where the 30 day, uh, sorry, the 60 day course comes in quite handy. Because if you have got life commitments or financial constraints, et cetera, well, you can combine these two and at least start your move in the right direction, okay? And as things get better financially or in terms of you finally uh, decide to uh, um, proceed, um, you've already got the firm foundation. Okay, so without, uh, without blowing our trumpets again, um, in the one slide I did actually mention, um, with all the trainers that we have on board, our combined experience, in terms of guiding and teaching is in excess of 100 years. Um, I probably make up 60 of those years, but uh, aside from that, um, <laughs> uh, the point is just this, um, we're all experts in different fields, um, no slouches in others, but some are just better than others, uh, for argument's sake, um, when it comes to reptiles or birds or, or insects or whatever the case might be. But that whole blend with you being exposed to the different trainers is what helps you develop your skills in the long term. Okay, once again, it is self-paced, but I will caution you not to leave it till the last minute because there's a lot of reading to do. And obviously there's quizzes and there's also a workbook, which is not compulsory, um, but we would like to see folks fill it in. That way we can also check to see the, um, the amount of study you've put in. At some point though, those workbooks will be needed as proof of evidence when it comes to your final practical assessment, if you are planning on proceeding with a guided career or guiding career. All right, once again, we recommend 10 hours of learning per week. And if you can get that under the belt, you'll be fine. You'll be able to go with the workload. All right. <coughs> you will be graded on the modules, of course. And once again, 75% is what is needed 
um, across the board in order for you to fulfill all the passing requirements. Um, and you will need to attend at least 50% of the live master classes. We understand there are constraints in terms of uh, internet co connectivity, load shedding, et cetera, et cetera. Hence the reason why we send out a recording, but we still like you to participate online, particularly since weekly we'll have um, discussion points and debates that I'd like to see people get involved with and offer their opinions and um, how, how they just generally feel about certain topics. Okay, <coughs> the introduction to field guiding online, you need to be fluent in written and spoken English or as near as, um, but you will need to be a, aged 18 years or older in, in the sense that if you are planning on doing the practical component um, to qualify for being able to drive a vehicle, et cetera, et cetera. And once again, access to a laptop or a device and have connection to the internet. Everything is included in the price, except for the answer papers. Sorry, folks, you're gonna to have to find that in your learning material yourself. <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, quick. All right. <clears throat> Some of the things that we will be covering that is not necessarily in the actual manuals is things like radio procedures, um, managing safety and emergency incidents, um, and generally just how to become a field guide by developing um, your skills and developing a guided experience. We spend a lot of time on it. We focus as much as we can, but there's only so much we can do on online, but at least we can get most of it out of the way. Okay. The beauty of doing the full Fugasa Field Guiding online course is you don't have to do it back to back. All right. We've broken it up to make it more accessible to those, once again, that might have commitments or financial constraints. So you can do the eight week nature enthusiast course and then book the, the full uh, or the next four week uh, field guiding course um, at a later stage that suits you and fits your pocket. Okay, but only once both have been completed will you get uh, certificates um, that it is completed and that you've achieved uh, the, the lay down criteria. Okay, and just a little bit of a, another little bit of a heads up there from um, past students who have enjoyed it so much as you heard with Hannah's uh, chat with us. Um, she's forever thankful for uh, the way we pushed her so hard. <laughs> um, but it's nice to know that the learning pr process is an enjoyable one. It's not all work and no play. It's a little bit of play, but we try and keep it tight and get right. Um, but it allows you valuable insights into a, a bigger and a broader uh, aspect of nature and the natural surroundings that most people overlook since they are confined into the city limits. Okay. Best option would always be for you to come and join us for our 23 or 50 week professional guide course. Okay. Or as an alternative, a 60 day safari guide course. All right. Um, and I've already covered a couple of these uh, aspects. How to decide? Well, do you only want to get it for knowledge or is it something that you want to pursue as a long-term career? Um, and then obviously that needs to fit into one of those other two box, boxes um, to try and help you make your final decision. And with that being said, are there any questions? Thank you so much, Trevor. It was great to have you join us today. We haven't had any questions come in yet, but I'm going to give the audience uh, a couple of minutes to, to give it some thought and pop any questions they have in the Q&A box, either about Bushwise Online or anything else that we have discussed here today um, before, we, before we wrap up. Um, yeah, Trevor, it's it's always so great having you. Um, I know that you have a wealth of experience. Um, I know that you uh, touched on it briefly, but do you just want to tell the, the audience a little bit more about your your experience in the industry? <laughs> All right. Uh, it's always embarrassing talking about yourself. But anyway, I want to give it my best shot. Um, I came from a corporate uh, background, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I spent 30 years in the corporate uh, industry. Um, making good money, working long hours. Um, but generally speaking, I never, I, I just felt there was a gap. There was something missing. Um, and I decided what I would do is, is, is take a complete change of course 
in my life, uh, my life's career, and actually did a course very similar to our 60 day course that we're offering. And by then the bug had bit. Um, I eventually managed to find a gainful employee. So for Graham, um, don't give up. I started out at the tender age of 41. Okay, so don't let looks deceive, all right? <laughs> Um, and I started guiding, and it was just through the years that I managed to um, guide in various parts of the country, um, learn a lot along the way, etc. And then I was headhunted by Bushwise. It's always nice to be headhunted because it's telling you that uh, perhaps your reputation is a solid one. Um, and I started working for Bushwise um, as a, a junior trainer some 10 years ago. And eventually worked my, uh, my way up to a general manager position. Um, I was proud to see the growth. And they are still growing. And I'm proud to say I'm, I'm, I'm well, part of the organization. Um, even though in a freelance basis, I've actually moved on and decided to freelance a little bit. So that was my journey. Um, so anything from anti-poaching through to um, uh, animal relocation to guiding, to trails guiding, to just about everything you can think of that's uh, that's guiding related is where I come from. Awesome, thank you so much, Trevor. We have um, a lot of people who are obviously very interested in uh, what we've discussed here today because the questions are now rolling in. Um, I'm gonna start with one from, uh, oh gosh, where has it gone? Um, it was a question from Roz. Uh, Eugene has answered this, but it would be great to get your, your input on this as well, Trevor. So Roz was saying uh, that they are just wondering um, what the average range, age range of people doing the 60 day course is. Um, it's very difficult to tell. Maybe Eugene could answer this because he may have access to the current bookings. Um, since it's the first one we've launched to start in April, um, I'm, I'm, I'm unfortunately not able to tell you. Um, so I'm going to ask Eugene perhaps to answer that one for us. Sure. Thanks so much, Trevor. And thanks, Ros, for, for your question. So like Trevor said, we've just uh, recently launched our program, but how current bookings are sitting, it's quite a, um, a diverse range of, of people coming together. Um, I think around about between the ages of 18 to 30, I'd say the average age on our current one, our first upcoming uh, course is probably around 26, 27, um, if, we, if we take an average. Uh, but what's great about it, like I said in my in my comment, it's a really a great mix of people coming together from kind of all over the world, um, and it's people that share a common goal and a and a, and a common uh, passion um, of trying to learn more about the bush, more about conservation. Some of them want to go into pursuing a career in guiding. Some are just coming for to have a to have an experience. So it's really a, a great mix of people that uh, that are joining us currently on our on our sixty day course. Awesome, thank yeah, you. you Roz has um, followed up with uh, they are fifty years in age. Would that be a problem? Absolutely not. Definitely not. Um, so our sixty day basically all our courses are geared towards. Uh, people from all walks of life. Um, I mean, Trevor can back me up. Yeah, we've had students of the age of 60, 62, 63 uh, yep. join our courses. Um, our, we, are, we don't, you know, we don't judge people by the ages. There's never the, the time to make a career change. Um, there's never a better time than the present. Um, so, and if you're just doing this for the, for the experience and you just want to learn a little bit more, um, or go into different aspects of the conservation field or guiding, or if you want to, you know, become a researcher or stuff, there's, there's really, there's no better time than the present. So definitely, uh, open to taking people of all ages. Um, the course is, um, there is, um, some walking involved, some practical activities, so, you know, we're there to support, but I think ideally we, we normally say if you're able to fit and able to walk uh, about two to five kilometers and the course is made for you. Agreed, Great. yes. Thank you so much. Uh, we have a question. This is definitely for you, Trev. Um, uh, Michaela would like to know if the online course um, platform Canvas is an app. Uh, Michaela, thanks for your question. Yes, it is indeed. You will, once you've been registered, um, you'll be given a link 
that will allow you to, um, how can I say, access. And then you download the app and obviously then you have access to all the learning material, et cetera, et cetera. So the answer is yes. Cool. And then we have another question for you from Graham, um, who is asking if it's more cost effective to sign up. Oh, I think this was in reference to the online courses for number three. I know where he's coming from. Graham, is thanks. It? Yeah, okay. no, I've got an idea what he's trying to say. Yeah. Uh, um, it's a pleasure, Graham. Um, look, it would probably be more beneficial to do the actual uh, full 12 weeks, the, uh, the field guiding uh, introduction to field guide course. Um, but I'm not aware of what the actual costs involved are. Um, you know, whether it be separate or, or combined. That, that is something I don't get involved with, unfortunately. That I believe you would need to chat to Kim about, um, unless Eugene would like to answer the question. But to my mind, to actually do the full 12 months, I would imagine would be more beneficial financially um, to get it out of the way in one go. Correct me mm -hmm. if I'm wrong. Yeah, 100%. Okay. I hope that answers your question, Grant. Oh. Um, and then we have a question from Anonymous. What does the practical component consist of? Um, all right. When you talk of the practical components, are you talking about when you're on the ground doing the actual courses themselves? Because there's no practical on the online. All right. The, the practical per se is superseded by filling in your workbooks and also, oh, I see my screen's going to and also your um, uh, completing of your assignments and quizzes. The practical component of any of the on the ground courses means you literally are out in the field and you are coached um, and you are, there's uh, checks and balances in place weekly to see how we monitor your actual progress and where your weak areas are. Um, culminating in a final practical assessment, which is usually three hours long um, in terms of either a drive or a bushwalk. But at this level, at NQF2 level, we would prefer to see a drive to make sure that you can operate safely in Big Five country. You're not anywhere near enough qualified to actually do a guided experience on foot. Um, you've yet to get all your ARH, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope that answers your question. Um, if not, please type uh, type some more in the um, in the what you call it the Q and A box. Great, thanks, Trev. Yeah, I I have a feeling that that was in reference to the practical component after yeah. an field course. Um, we do have another question here, really good one. Um, Eugene, you might want to be the one to answer this. Uh, sure. Anonymous says that definitely helped. Thanks so much, Trevor. Um, My pleasure. There we go. Um, do you help students doing the 60 day course with their career, with career advice opportunities or connections and connections uh, as well as the students doing the year long course? I think that's what the question means. So do we Absolutely. offer this support to 60 day students? Sorry. Yes. Okay. So um, thanks anonymous for the question. Um, I think I'm going to start off by saying when you join a Bushwise course, whether you like it or not, you become part of our family. And like with any family, we look out for one another. So absolutely, we, for all our courses, whether that's online, whether you're doing an online course with Trevor and you've got questions, there's like a little WhatsApp group that's created. And Trevor's there to give advice, even for our online students. And if there's an opportunity that can be shared to further somebody's personal growth and career aspirations, absolutely. So what we also have in place for all our students is a alumni uh, Facebook page and WhatsApp group that actually Amanda manages for us, um, where we post current job offerings that we get from the industry. Uh, being a training provider for the last 17, 18 years, we've obviously come to forge solid relationships on, out in the industry. And there's a lot of partners uh, that really want our alumni. Um, that might not fit in with our placements. They, they, you know, they'll they'll put a job out, uh, ad out, and they'll say, "Please, can you uh, give this to your alumni?" And we hopefully we can um, secure some jobs for them. So to answer the question, absolutely. Um, once you book a bushfire course, you're part of our family, and uh, we look after you. If there's advice that we can give, 
um, even for additional assessments, um, et cetera. So we, this is not just a, a book the course um, and then you know you do the course and then off you go and good luck. We, we stay in touch. We want to be part of your journey. We want to be part of your success. So anywhere where that we can assist you, that's what we do. That's the type of people that we are. Awesome. Thank you, Eugene. Yes, absolutely. I, um, we, on our, on our alumni Facebook group and WhatsApp group, we are always, we, we post about probably, I would say on average two, two to three job ads a week. Um, so just loads and loads and loads of opportunity and, um, the alumni group is also um, the WhatsApp group, just really lovely. I think the other day we had somebody commenting, um, just an opportunity for alumni to connect with each other, obviously people with like-minded interests in the industry. Um, somebody mentioned that they were struggling with, I think an owl mm -hmm. thing and where could they take it after hours and somebody else, um, perhaps they didn't do the course at the same time, but they're both on the WhatsApp group, suggested a doctor who might be available a bit. Um, so yes, uh, just touching on that, um, that kind of like family feeling. Uh, yes, as Eugene said, whether you like it or not, once, once you're in, you're in, that's it. Um, so thank you so much, Eugene, for that. Um, we have a question from Anonymous. It is Afrikaans. Eugene, I'm going to let you take this one because my Afrikaans is not great. <clears throat> no, that's all good. Thanks so much, Anonymous. So I'm going to try and answer this in Afrikaans as well. So um, if that's fine, well, I'll do, I'll do a combination because maybe other people. So basically what the question is, is Anonymous has asked um, with Bushwise, if we compare it to other training centers, uh, what is the one thing that we offer that others don't or what you can't get at the others? Um, Anonymous has recently been with another provider and she just wants to know kind of what is more, what is special about us. So it's quite a broad question, uh, but what I like when I started, all I can tell you is about, you know, kind of how we do things. Um, and I'm going to start off by kind of saying, what is our, our mission with our students and what is our mission with our organization? So at Bushwise, what we do differently is we've got a, 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 a motto at Bushwise that is very simple. It's called, it's, we say uh, everything that we do and every decision that we make is made with a student at heart mentality. Um, so every decision that we take, um, we make sure that we place the students' best interests um, at heart. And Bushwise is an organization, yes, we cater predominantly for field guide training, but we're an organization that's technically, you know, we focus on guide training, but that's, we've got a deeper meaning and a deeper vision of um, creating ambassadors of the natural world. So, you know, you'll do our course and you might not end up being might be and decide that field guiding is not for you, but if you, our job is to turn our participants into ambassadors of the natural world. So what makes our courses a lot more different um, than our competitors is, it, I genuinely believe it's the most comprehensive uh, program out in the market at the moment. Uh, it's not just about field guiding. We do so many more smaller workshops. Uh, we've actually had a, a workshop at the moment for our group of students that are on the ground, just about career coaching. Like, what do you do with this career? You know, the, the type, how do you write your CV? How do you present yourself in an interview? Because a lot of our students um, are fresh out of school or, you know, they haven't done a, a job interview in like for our mature students in the last 15 years. Like, geez, how do you actually do a job interview? Um, something that isn't taught at school. So we've identified that as a gap. So we're all about building individuals to, to excel in their careers and uh, as, part of their, as part of their journey. So there's a lot of additional modules that has included social media, we do photography, um, hosting. Um, you know, hosting is a, is a massive part of our industry because we're working with people. And that's a, it's, a, it's something that is very difficult to teach somebody. You know, how do you, how do you become, like Trevor would say, uh, an extroverted person? And some people aren't extroverted and we identify that and we're, we, you know, we try and assist where, where we can. And if you're not an introverted person, that's fine, but we'll teach you how to switch on your game face where you need to be that bubbly type of person for a three hour game drive. And then once you're done, you go back to, you know, you, you, you are who you are. So we, we help refine those skills. It's all about skills and guiding skills. And uh, that's something that Trevor will, will talk about a lot in his online um, courses, or if you, I mean, there's a good chance you'll probably see Trevor out in the field. Trevor helps us with assessments and extra, but we're really, we're so student focused in our approach. 
um, and if there is you know extra work that needs to be done, uh, I know one of our, our current cohort will actually wrote their Fogasa exam. And a lot of the students, for instance, you know, a lot of the, the students that we have at the moment, some of them have come through COVID um, in their, in their um, school careers, et cetera. So, you know, studying was broken up. How do you actually study? So we do a lot of night classes if we do need to do that. Um, we're all about building successful ambassadors and guides in the industry. So I hope I've answered your question. Uh, to sum it up, we're, I believe we're the most comprehensive. Uh, somebody asked also about like payment plans, et cetera. We're all about building what is more affordable to you. So if you've only got a, a certain budget, we can see what we can do. It's not just here's our program, here's our price, take it or leave it. We, we want to hear why you want to do this course. What are you hoping to achieve out of this course? And you know, by the underlying message there is we've got our students at heart in every decision that we make. So we want you to be part of this journey with us. And um, yeah, I hope, I've, I hope I've answered it. I hope you can hear the excitement in my voice about how caring and how passionate all of us are about what we do and why we put on our uniforms every single day. Um, this is not just a job, this is a lifestyle. Um, this is a lifestyle for all of us. And we're here to assist and inspire um, the future generation. Awesome, yeah, thank yeah. you so much. I, okay. Oh, sorry. Um, no, no, I, yeah, yeah. Well done. I was, <laughs> was going to say exactly the same. <laughs> Thanks, I love it. Me. Brilliant. There was, um, yes, just touching on that, uh, there was a question um, that came in earlier with regard to payment plans, et cetera, et cetera. And just to reiterate what Eugene has said, yes, there are absolutely payment plans. Um, to take advantage of today's special offer of a reduced deposit, you need to pay the deposit by a certain date. But with regard to payment plans, we can tailor our pay payment plan to payment plan to your needs. Um, and we do also offer a limited number of scholarships. Um, so if finances are an issue or a point of contention, I would just encourage you to get in, in touch. Um, there are a number of ways we can, we can um, suggestions we can make um, and ways we can move forward. Um, so yes, and I, I will also say that I, um, I absolutely love the Bushwise team, exactly what Eugene said. Uh, just a very, very genuine bunch of, of people. Um, very little filter. What you see is what you get, which we love. Um, and just a group of people who are absolutely to their core, just passionate about, about what they do. Um, so yes, I hope that provides some more clarity uh, on, on for those people who ask those questions. Um, we have had a question. Um, I'm not sure if we're able to answer this one um okay we've just asked for the context of the question yes um i think that's it i think we have answered all the questions that we have right now um so final call if anybody has any further questions um i'm going to give you a couple more seconds just to pop them in the q a box before we wrap up but otherwise trevor it was wonderful having you here with us today again um, I feel like you are uh, the, one of our most experienced open day presenters. Um, so always great to have you. We love your energy. We love having you here with us. Um, oh, so thank you so much for joining us today. Only a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. All right, folks, don't forget to sign on, eh? I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Bye-bye, <laughs> folks. Have a lovely weekend. Thanks, Trevor. Oh, thanks, Trevor. Cheers. Ta-ta. Awesome. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up there then. Uh, Roz says, thanks very much for your time today. Roz, you are most welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Um, I am going to quickly take a moment to share my screen uh, one last time and just remind everyone of uh, the special offer for today, uh, which I have spoken about quite a few times already. Reduced deposit of only 8,500 Rand or your local currency equivalent. Um, and that would need to be paid by the last day of this month. And then there are limited additional scholarships available for 2023 start dates. So if you are concerned about the price, I would just suggest reaching out, having a conversation with us, seeing what the different options are. Um, I'm fairly confident we can figure something out. Um, the contact details are kim at bushwise.co.za. She's lovely, she's hilarious. Um, she's really bubbly and she will be able to answer all of your questions. Um, and if you have any other questions, you're also welcome to email alumni at bushwise.co.za. Um, 
I will be monitoring that account um, and I would be more than happy to get back to you. If you have questions that you need answered quickly this evening or perhaps tomorrow morning, I will be checking in um, on my emails and I'd be more than happy to get you get you answers. Um, yes, and like I said, there's an email landing in your inbox right now. Um, it should have done so already with all those details again and the necessary links. And then you'll receive a link to this recording on Monday morning via email as well. Um, right, I'm just going to check the Q&A box one more time. Nope, that's it. Um, nothing else. So I'm going to wrap up there. Thank you so much, Eugene, for joining us today as well. Um, Thank you, it's been great having, having you here. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and I hope you, our audience, enjoy the rest of your weekend um, and hopefully see you online or on campus very soon. Yeah, we like to say we'll see you in the bush. See you in the bush. Love that. So hopefully we'll see you all in the bush. We're going to play out now with a video, uh, just sharing a little bit more about what you can expect on your Bushwise experience. Otherwise, we'll see you all soon. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. I changed from my career path from retail into being out in the bush all day. That's when in 2006 we set up um, Bushwise and the idea behind it was to not only just get them a minimum qualification but to add in all the components that makes them really employable and really make them the best they can be in the industry. I always wanted to work in the wild. Okay, cool, office. I chose to be a field guide because I've always loved wildlife and nature. That's what I wanted to do. We are a dedicated team of professionals that have a student at heart value. We are a team that really lives for the success of our students, and that really goes into every decision making that we're part of. Oh, it's an amazing experience. It shows that Bushwise has the best quality trainers as well. I got my degree in conservation ecology. Through my degree, I found a passion for the social side of conservation, and Bushwise seemed to meet the standards. So, yeah. Seeing their growth not only in their knowledge and their skills, but also um, how they grow as an individual, for me, that's most rewarding. Is we not only are we um, guiding and giving opportunities to, for young people to get into industry, but we are really supporting and mentoring uh, young people um, to grow within themselves while they're with us, of course. It needs to be in line with what FOGASA stands for, and Bushwise meets that, those requirements. They are in line with the gold standard of, of, of training guides, and so we're very excited to have them.